um, Islam's justification about the captives is uh, it's one political reason. I'm but just, it's even worse. Political reason is uh, preventing them to attack again. For example, if you let them free, they will come to you again. Uh, if you kill well, them, it's very injustice. Though. My friend, you know there's a problem with your logic. They went and attacked their lands. They took their lands. They didn't come and attack you. You got it upside down. Who attacked who? Did the Iraqis attack the Muslims or the Muslims attacked Iraq? Uh, it uh, doesn't matter if you are in the defensive or, or uh, offensive. No, it war. does matter. The captives. If you, no, no, the captives. My friend, my friend, no. Be realistic. It does matter. If you come and attack my no, no, city. It's your Christianic biblical view. Sorry. No, but you didn't hear me. You didn't hear anything I said. Nowhere does the Old Testament tell the Israelites, go to all the nations and attack them and conquer their lands. That's not you, in the Old Testament. You also misrepresented me, brother. Uh, okay. Sorry. Brother, can you? Okay, let's see if you're listening. Is it true that Islam went to places and cities and attacked them and attacked people that never threatened Muslims? Uh, well, that's... Yes or no? Now, see, yeah, now you're trying to avoid in the... In the name of Islam, but it's wrong. Oh, so you say it's wrong what the Muslims did? Uh, like, as I said again, if... So when Abu Bakr and Umar ibn al-Khattab or Uthman ibn Affan or Ali ibn Abu Talib and these, they spread Islam to Syria, to Lebanon, to Jerusalem, to Iraq, to no, Egypt. No, not wrong. Say yes. it again. So when they conquered yeah. those places, those places, did they attack Muslims or the Muslims attacked them? Uh, Muslims attacked them. Okay, that's the first thing you're on. Secondly, these people who didn't threaten Muslims had their lands taken away from them. What do you expect? That they don't want to then get revenge? Here's a person who comes and attacks my place, enslaves me, my wife and children, and he can have sex with my wife, even though I'm still alive. That's chapter 4, verse 24. And enslave her and my children and sell them and take my property, and I can't do a damn thing about it. You think they, they're going to be grateful to what you Muslims did? In he in afterlife. <laughs> oh, in the afterlife. Okay, that's but no, 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 no. It's not. It's no, no. Let's be honest. I'm just joking. It's not uh, justice. Like... So you agree? What the Muslims did was not justice. Excellent. You agree? So the difference is in Deuteronomy 21, 10 to 14. Let me show you now the difference with Moses and Muhammad. Moses says if a nation goes to war with Israel, because Israel was only to take over Canaan. They were not to go to Iraq or Egypt or Africa. They could not go and take those lands. Only Canaan, because the people were corrupt and evil, murdering children to their gods, sleeping with animals, man sleeping with man, woman with woman, parents with children. That's in Leviticus 18. So their punishment was, now God is going to destroy the land and have someone else take over. But then God even said to Israel, if you commit the sins they commit, I will do to you what I did to them. Showing how fair he is. I'll do the same thing mm -hmm. to you I did to them if you do what they do. Now, with that said, Moses says, if... You're in war with a nation and you see a captive woman, Deuteronomy 21, 10 to 14. She's attractive. You are to have her shave her head, which is sign of mourning. And then she changes her clothes, the clothes of captivity, give her fresh clothes. You give her a month to mourn the death of her parents. Then you marry her and treat her as a wife. And if there's something you dislike, you divorce her and let her go free. You cannot sell her. This law was given 20, 20 years before chapter 4, verse 24 of the Quran, where in the Quran, Allah says, unlawful for you are married women, except those that your right hands possess. So if you attack the Iraqi Christians or the Egyptian Christians who didn't attack you, and you see women and married women who are beautiful, you take them captive, Allah says you can have sex with them, even if their husbands are alive, and sell them. Which person's going to thank you for taking his wife and then sleeping with her and then selling her after you've come and attacked their city, a city that did nothing to you Muslims. Who's going to appreciate you? Mm. Put yourself, now be honest before God because you're going to stand before him. Imagine you are a Christian living in Egypt. The Muslims come. Your mother's in your house. Your wife is there. Your daughter. They attack. They take you captive. And then they have sex with your mother, your wife and daughter, and then they sell them. Are you going to be thankful for what Allah did? For what Allah did, I will be thankful. But uh, here are uh, just uh, questioning so hard questions. That okay, are now, here's what I want to do. 
I'm trying Let to keep it because there's other people. Can, uh, you, can I answer? Go ahead, try to answer. I don't know how you're going to answer. If you really uh, have a heart. No, I have a really heart. I just, to be honest, you gave such a great arguments. Inshallah, if they are just justifiable, uh, I will uh, look at them. And Please. That's why I wanted to stop. Instead of going further, go to chapter 4, verse 24, Surah Nisa 24. Read what the Mufassirun and the Hadith say. Come back because I don't want to overwhelm you. I know that. I know that. Okay, so come back because there are other people I don't want to keep overwhelming you. And you and me can have just an entire discussion, you and me. Yeah. Goodbye. All right? Okay. Okay. Come. We'll pray for you. Pray for him. May God guide you to the truth. Take care, buddy. You too. Take care, buddy. Salah. Okay, open up chapter 4. Verse, oh, my goodness. Why are you wasting okay, that time? Let's do it. Chapter 4, verse 24. Let's do 4, verse 24. And oh, there's a big text here. And oh, married oh. women, accept those your right hand possesses. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? Now it's huh, huh? And married women, accept those your right hand you possesses. You can't have sex with a married woman except what? Your right hand possesses. So if a woman is married and she's your right hand possession and you've taken her captive, can you have sex with her? No. You're lying. Give me your Shia commentary. Open up Kulaini or Kafi and tell me they denied that this means you can take a married woman captive and have sex with her. Open up your Shia commentary. That's not what it says, bro. Pull it says it, bro. Okay, you're wasting my time. You see why I'm going to block you now? Okay, so 424, it says right. forbidden for you is married women. You can't have sex. Except, what does except mean? E-X-C-E-P-T. What does that mean? Except what? Uh, your Those your right hand possesses. Okay, now entertain me and amuse me. What does that mean? A married woman I I'll can't explain. have sex with, except the. It says it right here. The the ones that you seek in marriage, right here. No, that's the not gifts, talking your about property, no, it chastity. Doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. Right there. Four twenty four and twenty three gives you a list of women that are forbidden. If there's a married woman, you can't touch her unless she's your right hand possession. And then it talks about other things. So don't don't play with me, dude. So what does accept mean? It's giving an exception. So exception to do what? To um, hold up. Yeah. To have sex with. Come I'll back. Be... Go. Do me a favor. I'll let you back on. Go read Kulaini and Kafi or any Shia commentary. Look it up right now. Then give me the link, and then we're gonna go through it. So I don't want you to give your opinion. So you got about twenty minutes. Go look for the commentary in four twenty four. Come back because you okay. don't follow the Sunni. All right. Yeah. Okay. Come back, but you're gonna give me a link saying, "Oh, here, look. This is what Kafi said or Kulaini said." Right. Okay. So you left. All right.